Yo, what up, what's poppin'? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to save more money right now. Now, people tell me I'm a frugal dude, that I don't like to spend money on a lot of unnecessary things. Kinda get that reputation. So I figured I would give you a few tips to help you save more money and stop taking people out on dates to the McDonald's dollar menu. Now, number one, I want you to build some emergency funds and I want you to download two apps. One is called Digit and the other is called Acorns. Now, first, let's talk about Digit. Now, Digit is an app that you can connect to your bank account and every single day, it analyzes the amount of money you have in your bank account and withdraws a small amount and saves it in a fund for you. Like, you don't even notice it. But what's cool is from time to time, you can check the app and you can see how much you've saved. And you'll be like, oh snap, that's crazy. The second app I want you to download is called Acorns. Now, I found this app by watching The Breakfast Club. It was an interview with Stacey Tisdale. It was an interview, a really insightful interview about making money, saving money, being smarter with your investments. I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. Now, how Acorns works, is after you connect it to your bank account, your debit cards, credit cards, whenever you spend money from one of these cards, like Digit, it will invest that money also. However, this is how it works. It will round up to the nearest dollar based off what you spent and save that for you. So for example, if you go to the store and you buy something for $1.60 and you swipe your card, Acorns will round up to the nearest dollar, so it'd be 40 cents to the next dollar, which is $2, it'll take that 40 cents and invest it for you. So what's cool is that while Digit will save your money, Acorns will save it and also flip it and invest it. So you'll be accumulating a little bit of money on the side too. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make you rich. And what's cool is, right, these are investments that are taking place on a daily basis. Pretty small investments, right? But over time, they build up. So my advice to you is when you set these up, don't touch them. Let them sit, let them build, all right? Let the investments grow. That's the beauty of saving your money because over time when you look back, you're like, yo, I got a million dollars. Number two, it's something that I haven't done personally, but I've had friends who've taken steps to do this because they feel like they can't control their spending habits. And that is to just straight up leave their debit or credit cards at home. So this is gonna take you having to kind of map out how much money you think you're gonna spend for the day, pull out that cash, and then leave everything else at home. The benefit of this is that if you don't have the access to all the money in your bank account, you can't spend it. It's amazing. But like you literally cannot withdraw money even if you try. So try it out. Try only bringing the amount of cash on you predict you're gonna spend for the day. Thanks for taking me out on this date. No problem. It's on me. Date's on me. Oh, check? Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. What's wrong? The bill is... $300. So? I only brought $2.25. What? Who do you think you are? You gotta be out of your mind. I swear, it's men no, like you. You be showing up the dates with no money. money. You know, bro, like, I just held trying no, to pay I was for watching the Josh O show. Number three, one crucial thing you should do is address your spending habits. So block some time in your calendar to sit down and make yourself aware of what you like to spend your money on the most. Do you eat out a lot? I'm guilty of that, honestly. <laughs> do you eat out a lot? You know, do you buy a lot of material things that you don't really need? You buy a lot of shoes, you buy a lot of clothes, whatever it is. Map that stuff out and make yourself aware of what you're spending money on. Then be honest with yourself. Do you really need to be spending your money on all of these things? Because if you really think about it, right, outside of food and your basic necessities like water, maybe rent, you know, electricity, internet, things you actually need. You don't really need to spend money on much else. So look, in my opinion, if you're spending all your money on all these fancy clothes and everything and you don't really have that much of a budget to be doing that on a regular basis, you're gonna need to address that. In fact, if you wanna know what I really think, I think dropping a lot of money on a bunch of name brand clothes and everything is kind of a waste of money. As I got older and I got into college, I was talking to my dad. I wanted to buy some, some clothes for, for college. I wanted to look cool my dad, Kept it real with me, he's like, Joshua, no more name brand for you. I'm like, uh, why, why dad? Because there's no brand that is bigger than yourself. So now that I'm older, all the clothes that I wear, you, you're not gonna see like name, like name brand, like stuff across my chest and like, in fact, if I'm gonna wear a logo of some sort, it'll probably be a hat with like some sort of logo, probably Seattle or something on there, cause I love Seattle. Seattle's dope, that's where I was born. Shout out to Seattle. So let that sink in, there's no brand out there 
bigger than you, bigger than yourself. Like some of the most fashionable people I know too, they're, they're into thrift shopping. Like they go to these discount stores and everything and find really nice pieces of apparel and mix and match it and look all swagged out and they're balling on a budget and it looks sick. In fact, they even have the money to be going spending out on this Gucci Prada stuff, but they just be liking thrift shopping and there's a beauty in that, it looks cool. In fact, to further add on to this point, there's celebrities I really look up to that embody this so well. Two of my favorite rappers, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar. Those dudes are millionaires, millionaires. Straight millionaires. Rich as hell. They just wear standard, normal clothes, like a hoodie, sweats, sneakers. Like if you didn't know who they were, they were just walking down the street. You'd be like, oh, just normal dudes. And I know J. Cole has talked about this a lot in several interviews uh, about buying a lot of materialistic things and how he kind of got out of that because you realize buying all those things, the chains and the, the watches and the belts, is just filling this never ending void. It's just not gonna make you happy. What really makes you happy is love, real genuine love. All right, the next point I want you to keep in mind for saving more money is to cancel unnecessary subscriptions. You'll be surprised. The type of stuff that might be coming out of your bank account or your check or whatever on a monthly basis that you don't even really use. Like for me, Percy, I realized I never watch cable. So I'm like, yo, I don't need to pay for this anymore. I stream everything. I watch YouTube a lot. I'm on YouTube right now. <laughs> yo, I even went as far as canceling my Netflix for a little bit. So really stop and think about your monthly subscriptions and whether or not you really need them. Yo, thank you for watching the video. Uh, you are amazing. I can't believe this. You made it to the end. You and the cool kids club. What's poppin'? You know what you need to do next? Yo, you need to click over here for more dope videos. More dope videos.